In this video, I will show you how to do a super easy studio lighting for your model or your product. You don't need anything beside a model and a plane with a camera in your scene. And I got my spider looking robot from the kit library. So go with whatever you have. And let's see this through. Now, since I have zero lights in the scene, the render view will go dark as under the bed. So let's start adding a matter daddy. The idea here is to lit this model from many angles using different area lights. So we need to add one, and it should appear in the center. After that, we can move it around and rotate it to cast light from the right area. So where is this right area? Know that this light we added should be the main source of lighting, the key light in the scene. And this one usually goes with an angle between 30 and 60 from the camera depending on the side you want the shadow to cast. So from our camera view, the shadow we need is to the left side, so the light should cast from the right. I will go with 45 degree angle, and you can adjust it as you see fit. The lamp seems to need more power, so let's go with 40 on this main light, or 50, depending on how big it is, the model you have and just make sure not to fry them colors. You can adjust the colors on this one for a warm light or go with something bluish. However, we will stay on white for this one. Once you're done with the main light, we need another one to shed some subtle soft lighting on the opposite side since it's still dark. So let's add another area light. This new lamp will go on the opposite side of the camera, so you can copy the first one and rotate it around the cursor, then adjust the position as you see fit. This will go low on power. Something around 5 should be enough. I will also double its size to make it less sharp, just like you do with your burritos. We do this to keep the light soft while litting the left side of the model. At last, we need a light that cast from the back. This is what we called a rim light. You can see many examples of it online to get the idea of what we need it for. And it's mainly those highlighted edges on the model. You have some freedom in placing it around the back area. So play with it around while the other light's off to see what fits. Something around half the main light power should be a good balance for the rim light. You can also focus more on the rim light alone if you want to do cool renders by lowering the spread value. The results are just amazing. This lighting set with three directions will be more than enough for most cases. However, you can sometimes add a top light, something like the soft fill lamp, with a similar power value to lit the top area. You can, as we said before, go with warm versus cold colors on those lights. Usually orange with blue works best. You can go hard or soft on the shades and it will present nicely. You can do this easy set once along with the cam and the background, then save it to your blender assets to use it again. And that's it. Subscribe because your grandma already did and see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.